The kids are back in school, but Cheyenne Mountain High School needs an upgrade. Right now we have classrooms that fit 20-something students and we're putting 30 in there. So the actual space itself, the halls are too narrow. The school was built in 62 for 600 and something students and we have 1325. District 12 voters will see a $45 million bond issue on the November ballot. This really will take the existing parts of Cheyenne Mountain High School, the more recently built uh, parts of Cheyenne Mountain High School that function well and bring them all together in uh, a muchly needed uh, updated campus. Most of the bond will be spent on the renovations to Cheyenne Mountain High School and the rest will help update the remaining schools in the district. We have a number of safety and security projects across the district, a number of building code projects and a number of system systems projects like boilers and electrical systems that make up the full $45 million project budget. And if the bond is passed in November, residents will only see a slight tax increase for about 20 years. If the bond issue moves forward, the average tax impact uh, to homeowner in District 12 is less than $100 a year. Overall, Principal Fortenberry says this renovation would not only help the students, but the community. We have a great tradition of, uh, of academic excellence here. And I think to have a show place to be able to show that we do well and that we respect that would be good. In Colorado Springs, Allison Mastrangelo, Fox 21 News.